inside the Wolf Den at Mohegan Sun in Uncasville, the World Cup of Trick Shots, sixth edition. Team Europe up by a point. In the final, Nick Nicolaitis will explain Team Europe's first attempt on their fifth challenge. Here's Nick. All right. This shot's called the Speed Demon. You'll see in a minute why, or actually a little less than a minute. I'm going to strike the cue ball three rails around the table. It'll eventually get to the corner pocket. Before the cue ball goes in, I'll reposition myself and jump one through set, one through eight, actually, to the corner pocket. Well, I'll tell you, my degree of difficulty here is a nine. Getting the cue ball to go around and bang, jump all those balls before the cue ball gets around. I've got to see this. <laughs> Well, if Nick says he can do it, Mitch, he probably can. <laughs> I personally am surprised it's not a 10. All these shots are so unbelievable. Here we go. Oh, oh, wow. Oh. Right. Oh, wow. Excellent. He is fast. That's like a, a, a machine gun fire there. All right. I'm impressed. Look how fast he gets these balls. One stroke and hits them. Oh, only right, one ball missed. Up. Very good. All right, the Simone's pocket cam look. Right, Just a little up. too much action. A little too much action. I hit the ball, but I think he knew he was already done there. Okay, second attempt. Remember, they're leading 4-3 at this point. All right. Has to make a little adjustment here. I think he's jumping the balls a little too hard. The speed of the cue ball is important. That looks pretty good. Very good. Yes. Excellent. Yes. <laughs> All, All right. right. And he is juiced and rightfully so. He made a nice adjustment there with the way he was jumping the balls. That's Very a good. Thrilling shot, Alan. Notice how much easier he's jumping them now. Perfect. Perfect speed. Excellent. Cue ball was hit. Perfect speed too. Notes coming around. He's already got four or five balls in the pocket. Oh, boy. And you know what? As you watch this, tough not only to do all this, but to keep them all in the pocket. There's so much action. You saw Luke jump straight up in the air. He's got to be happy about that one. Team Europe now up by two points at 5-3. Jamie Gray, his first attempt on the same shot. Nope. See, well, that was close. He hit the cue ball nice speed. Pretty good. I'm impressed. He does it pretty good. You see a replay of uh, how he missed his four ball. Just bounced it too hard. All right, another look. Cue ball's hit perfect. Oh, that was so close. Doing a good job. Wife Beverly, son Kyle, daughter Sierra. All going to be happy about Dad. Trying his second attempt now. Let's see if he can pick up a critical point for Team USA. <clears throat> okay, let's see how he does. Speed on cue ball. Looks close. Jumping. Oh, Mitch, he might have it, Mitch. Oh, the cue ball's dying down. No. Oh. Oh. No. Oh. <laughs> oh, just a little too easy, about an inch. Unbelievable, about an inch too easy. Fantastic attempt by Jamie Gray, but this one has to hurt big time. It All looks the like, tough work Alan done. It looks like it's going to make it too, and it just stops, slows down. Oh. All these balls are hit perfect into the pocket, and the cue ball is coming down, and there you see it. Oh. Fittingly, that reaction from Jamie Gray as he knows Team USA putting themselves in a hole here in Uncasville. Welcome back, everybody, to the Wolf Den at Mohegan Sun in Uncasville. Frank Del Pizzo making sure that table is in perfect condition. Team USA, Team Europe going after the title in the final. Mitch Lawrence, Alan Hopkins here with you. Bruce Bartholet at the table, Team USA's first attempt on their sixth challenge. Okay, this is a shot I came up with. It's uh, I call it return to sender. What it is is I'm going to hit the cue ball and put it at a four-inch hole. I'm going to put it in the hole. It's going to come through there, come out the tube, and pocket the eight ball in the corner. I hope. Well, degree of difficulty is a nine. Okay. 
for you folks at home, that cue ball go. is two and a quarter inches, and he's going to put it in a four-inch hole. Very difficult at the perfect speed, too. If anybody can do it, Mitch, Bruce can. Oh, that was Man, so close. The well, <laughs> there's a new trick shot. <laughs> Every time they shoot, they learn something, don't they? I like that That's one. Funny. That degree of difficulty is a 10 and a half right there. <laughs> oh, that was something else, huh? He was so close there. Bruce, such a great figure okay. in the world of pool, not just artistic time. pool. Very successful APA league operator in Connecticut. Andy Siegel, also a league operator. And these guys work hard. This, this is four guys that like to practice together, too. All interested to see if Bruce can make on, this man. shot. That's the hard part. Look at this shot. Oh. Here we go. He gets it. <laughs> All of them out of their seats. Ooh, I like that shot. That that was good. <laughs> That's a huge shot, Alan. Down by two, now only by one. He hits at the perfect speed to go in the hole. You come back down, tuck out, and make the ball. Let's take a look. Here it is, right in the hole and back wow. out. Perfect angle to come down and make that object ball in the corner. Wow. <laughs> He's got to be happy about that. I'll tell you what, flying at eight feet in the air, Alan, into a hole that size. Unbelievable. Here it is again. Oh, that. wow. That's the part I like. You get a lot of time to know it's going to make it. You know you made it then. Andy, Tim, Jamie, all excited. And Bruce, as he should be. His dad, Rainey, here looking on. Two brothers. Family affair. All right. Tough act to follow. I'll Nick Nicolaitis at the table. Team Europe's attempt. His first attempt. Team USA has just climbed back to within a point. You know, Nick jumps the ball rather well. Oh, oh he, he gets, gets it. it in there. Oh. There it is. Oh, look at that. He it is. <laughs> wow. 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 Unbelievable. Oh, yeah, 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 <laughs> Look at Gabby. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Bow is right, and Bruce knows how tough that was. Talk about hitting the lottery, Mitch. Huh? <laughs> Look at this. Perfect. Perfect. Unbelievable. Just great. Really, this is a huge shot for Team Europe. To answer Bruce's shot with this and climb back to a two-point lead in the final. Team excited. Nick's wife, Ava, excited in the background. Oh. And Gabby was saying yes, yes, yes. Can't blame him there. All right, 5-4, Team Europe. They can clinch a tie with a make here up 6-4. And everybody involved. You see Luke on the left. Nick talking to Stefano. Making sure the setup is right. Let's go. Wow, cannot emphasize how big a shot that was by Nick Nicolaitis just now. All right, here's Stefano with his first attempt on this shot. This is uh, one of my creations from a long time ago. I'm going to shoot the cue ball into the rail. It bounces off the rail, hits the one. The one comes here in the side pocket. The three goes in the corner pocket. The cue ball in the same time, it's one, two, three rails the rack and makes seven degree of difficulty is an eight speed on the cue ball is very important the angle would come off the rail to hit the one ball should make the one and three tough part is the cue ball getting a round table to that rack and that's what i was talking about hits the one ball just a little too full caused him to go to the bottom rail instead of the side rail and i'm sure he'll make an adjustment Oh, not enough adjustment. Catches the corner. He wanted to catch right above the corner. Good okay, try. A little, a little surprise there. I was Excellent actually try. thinking Stefano was going to make that, but not to be. I did too, Mitch. I thought he was going to make that, but he just catches the one ball a little too full and scratches in the corner pocket. 
All right, Team Europe still leading 6-4. There you go. All right, ladies and gentlemen. Step it up Tim Chin at the table, his second attempt on this same shot. Would love to pick up a point on Stefano's challenge. Oh. Does not get it. Nice nope. Which means that at 6-4, Team Europe has clinched a tie here in the final of the World Cup of Trick Shots. Will they be closing in on a third team title? We'll find out. Back inside Mohegan Sun at the Wolf Den in Uncasville, Connecticut. The World Cup of Trick Shots, the final. Team Europe up by two over Team USA. Jamie Gray, Tim Chin, Bruce Bartholet, Andy Siegel. Team USA's eighth and final challenge, their first attempt, they must make this. All right, we'll play a little game of baseball. That represents the strike zone, and there's a baseball plate there. The count's three and one. We need two more strikes to put them away, so we're gonna, so we got two pitches left. And distance? Uh, it's 14 feet away from, from the edge of this rail. I have to do it, and then Bruce has to repeat me and do the same thing. 14 feet up in the air. I have to give this a 10. For a couple reasons, 14 feet in the air, through the box, and they must make. Mm -hmm. Ooh. Okay, you got this. Come on. That was his first attempt, too. Okay. Obviously, must make one attempt to stay alive. This is what it's all about. Anything Gray. Sorry, Mitch, anything can happen here. I mean, he has to get it in the box. Oh, he does. Okay. <laughs> and that's only one part of it. <laughs> now, Bruce didn't get to try this. In other words, he, he had, this is his first try at it, but it counts as a second because they missed the first one. So he must make this. Difficult enough, but under this kind of pressure, can he perform? Yeah. He does. Excellent. He does. Excellent shot. Wow. Wow. <laughs> Talk about pressure. Baseball, <laughs> right? And he tremendous took his, work by these by this team. Really. Unbelievable, you know. And he took his time on that too, you know, Mitch. I mean, he, he got back up, took a deep breath. And there's the first one. Ray makes the first one, and here comes Bruce. And oh. <laughs> But I'll tell you, a good reaction by Tim Chin, too. Good catch, right? <laughs> you see Andy's wife, Kim, in the background going, yeah, 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 Beverly yeah. Gray. Be Family is deeply time. involved in all of this. <laughs> all right, Europe at the table. And all Team USA can do is hope that Europe misses both of their attempts. Europe leading 6-5. If they make Ready? this shot, they will win. Here's Luke Chaval. Close. You could notice he elevates yep. his cue. <clears throat> notice his hand is not on the table. He just misses this too. It just catches the bottom of the rail. There. Yep. Just misses it. That was my half stroke. <laughs> <laughs> These guys are such good friends off the table. <laughs> there is some kind of banter going on in a pressure packed situation. Second attempt? No. Very tough to do. Nope. Very tough. Okay. Team USA still in it. All they can do is hope now that they can still pick up a point and tie it up. Mission impossible. We want shot. to take extension for our next, for the last shot. Like Luke explained to yeah. referee Dave Nangle they're going to take a little extension. <laughs> carefully choose a shot. Let's take another look. Well, here's here's the second one. He doesn't even come close to the strike zone. He wouldn't. He has to come in the box, so he missed it by a lot, as you can see. Nick Nicolaitis, Luke Shawala at the table. Europe's eighth challenge. This will be their first attempt at a shot they call Mission Impossible. Here we go. All right, for our final shot, otherwise known as Mission Impossible, Luke will strike the cue ball five rails. One, two, three, four, five, into the corner pocket. Before the cue ball gets to the corner pocket, 
I'll initiate a machine gun action, jumping all eight balls into the corner pocket. Okay, degree of difficulty here is a nine. Bazinga, Cue bazinga. Ball turning around ah, the table, go. about uh, 20 some feet. One, two, three. Before shoot. he bounces, mm -hmm. all the balls Ready. in the corner before it gets there. One, two, three. Too hard. Oh, First one too hard. Hit the top. Okay. Bounced off the table. Make an so adjustment. Where did the cue ball hit? I didn't see. Okay. Never Same mind. Thing. All right. Second Ready. attempt. One, You'll hear him count. Two, three. <laughs> oh. Okay. Team USA still with a chance. They were thinking that shot. They will have another chance to tie it up, but boy, is this a difficult test. Here they go. The cue ball comes a little too long and catches. catches it. That's a very difficult shot to make without touching, without touching that jump pole. You know that? I don't even know if it, this can be done. And the thing is, the strategy on Team Europe, if they had made it, it would have been over, but they know how tough this is. So a really good choice for this last shot, Mission Impossible. Can Tim Chin and Andy Siegel pull this off? I know you said that was a nine degree of difficulty, Adam. Yeah. <laughs> well, right now it might be 12, impossible. 12. I don't know. Go Give one, it a 12. Two, three, and hit it on the fourth, on the fourth <laughs> beat. Under the circumstance, okay. probably you're right, you Mitch. Fourth, yeah. hit I'm, hitting on the, I'm hitting the fourth beat. One, two, three. Yeah. Uh, nope. 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 This is going to be so tough. I don't think it even can be done, Mitch. Now that I'm looking at the shot. And obviously an interested group of European team members. <laughs> One chance left to tie it up on this most difficult of shots. Well, as Mitch, wow. if you can see, I'm going to tell you right now, see where the, where the wood comes out on the table where he's jumping over? Well, it moved away now, but that's over too far for him to get the cue ball around. Right where the one ball is now, the cue ball can't get in there to come around table on the other side of the rack. It's going to be impossible. I have to change my degree of difficulty. Go ahead. I'll, I'll make it a 10. Go ahead. Go ahead. <laughs> History being made hey, at the I'll World Cup. You, he changed the degree of difficulty. 10 and a half. <laughs> All right. The crowd wants it. Two, three. Europe win or USA stay alive? It is Europe winning. <laughs> Unbelievable. <laughs> team Europe has done it. Six to five over Team USA in the final. An appreciative crowd here at the Wolf Den. A very happy Team Europe. Luke Shavala, Gabby Michoyu, Nick Nicolaitis, and Stefano Palinga have done it. Good strategy choosing that shot, Mitch. I would say at the end of this final, perfect strategy for Team Europe. It's now time for our super shot of the match. We will go to the fifth challenge for Team Europe. Nick Nicolaitis and the Speed Demon shot. This shot gave Team Europe a five to yeah, three baby, lead, yeah. which was oh. just a little too much for Team USA to overcome. And you see the reaction there. You can hear his teammates behind him. This was just yeah, dazzling work by Nick Nicolaitis. Rightfully so, a great reaction from his teammates. That was our Simonis super shot of the match. And the medals being presented to the victorious Team Europe team members by Stephen Kaliwa of Mohegan Sun. We want to thank everybody at Mohegan Sun for their hospitality as always. You see Team Europe happy to have those blue and gold medals around their neck. For it signifies the third time that Team Europe has won this event, 2007, last year, and now this year, a successful defense. Great work by Team Europe, a good try by Team USA after six World Cups. We're all tied at three, just the way it should be. For Alan Hopkins, I'm Mitch Lawrence. This has been a presentation of ESPN, the worldwide leader in sports. Congratulations to Team Europe, your World Cup of Trick Shot champion.